Anna Camp, everybody, Anna Camp. Don't you look absolutely lovely oh, and colourful? Oh, thank colorful. you, thank you, thank you so very much. I thought that your hair in the clip was very southern, but it's not so southern here. No, it's not so southern here, but that takes a lot of hairspray. Yeah, but you're from the south. You... I, I am. I'm from South Carolina originally, and I always say the higher the hair, the closer to God. So, <laughs> it's true. I'm a fan of big hair, but I'm a heterosexual, so... Oh, uh... oh great, great. You have nice hair. Thanks really very much hair. indeed. It's not big hair though. It's just, you know, it's, it's like good, normal, like regular nice, guy hair. Regular guy hair. It's, it's just nice. like, oh, I got stuff to do. Gotta go over there. That's it. You wear it really well. Well, you've got lovely hair, but not like big, giant, oh, I'm from the South. No, hair. no, 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 no. But, but I grew up around people that did have the whole big thing. You know what I mean? And like, just sort of like getting home from work, I have to like go like this. Like, it takes like a lot of. I think it's nice though. I like it when girls have big hair. They do it in Jersey as well, you know. Oh, they do. I wonder, mm. I wonder if they do it in Iceland. Well, you know, we should go to Iceland and find out. We should go to Iceland. I think, though, my maybe this is a stereotype, but my idea of Icelandic girls' hair is sort of pixie cut. Okay. You know what I mean? I can so see I that. Like, <laughs> that sounds very Icelandic. You know, well, a little bit. Have you ever been there? No, I've never been there. I've never been to Iceland. I like the cold. I do like cold weather. Well, there you go. But you're York. probably afraid of polar bears. Where do you live now? Uh, I live in L.A. I live in L.A., but I grew up in South Carolina. I used to Yes, like I know this. that. I know that. I know. But you said you like the cold. I thought maybe you... I lived in New York for well, that, a while. It gets pretty cold And there. you have yeah. to like the cold if you live in New York. Yeah, I know. Did you live there in the wintertime? I did live there in the wintertime. I would be bundled up like wearing stuff. and Little like... pixie haircut? Yeah, little, <laughs> may, and no pixie haircut, but maybe little pixie hats. That's adorable. Thank you. Did you go? Did you go to New York to be an actress straight from South Carolina? Uh, yeah, I, I grew. I went right to Washington Heights, uh, which is in New York, which is like 189th and St. Nick's. Yeah, I know. There. I know where it is. Yeah, it's it's kind of not my first stop for no, inspiring no, 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 actress. No, I, I know it wasn't really. Uh, I, I sort of like moved in with a group of friends. Uh, my roommate, his name was Tom Sawyer. That's his real name. I know. Did you get to New York by raft? <laughs> yeah. We were, it took us it took us a long time, <laughs> eight years. No, we we got there and I remember like waiting for my sister to come meet me at the subway. I was so proud of my new apartment, you know. And and I remember guys walking by me, being like, "Are you lost? Like, are you lost? What are you doing here?" And um, I said, "No, no, no. I live like just over there. Like, it's my first apartment in New York." And this one guy said, "Oh, honey, there's nothing up here but drugs and sex." <laughs> and I see said, that's how I know it. Uh... <laughs> Because I used to live in New York too. I oh, in New okay. York when I, and then I came out here. Do you do you like California? Is I more, do. I really? do like California. Do you make True Blood here? We do make True Blood here. A lot of people think that we shoot it down in Louisiana because it looks, you know, so real. But no, we're just like over in West Hollywood. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, I know. Hey, do you know Chris Bauer? I do know Chris He's Bauer. He's my friend. Chris he, Bauer's my friend. He's on True Blood. He is so great. He's so I know. fantastic. He's a really good actor. He was on The Wire. Do you remember The he Wire? He was on The Wire. Oh, I love that show. Oh, man, that was a great that show. That was a hardcore show. Yeah, yeah, hardcore. Yeah. No vampires, though. Drugs and sex. Yeah, but no vampires. No. And now you want to... No, no, not Now, listen, the, the True Blood, because of the vampire thing, or just the True Blood shows, people are... You've got a very fanatic following. People are go crazy for you. Yes. I was just at Comic-Con this past weekend. Me too. I heard you were I went there. to the True Blood party. Yeah. You weren't there. I wasn't there. We went. We didn't go to the True Blood party. Yeah, I'm sure the people at HBO were delighted they about were that. Happy <laughs> with that, um, but we met some great fans, and I actually met a girl who has fangs. What, what she got fans? extensions put in to her teeth, so she has permanent fangs. <laughs> That's commitment. That's a really committed fan. I don't, I don't know if commitment is the word I'd use. I, you know, like, you know, a, a marriage is a commitment. You know, a parenthood is a commitment. That's right. dental madness. That's dental madness. I know. She was really just all smiles. Yeah. Well, you might as well. I, right. I, the fans of the vampire stuff, they're a bit like Doctor Who fans. They're, they're very passionate, very kind of involved. Yeah, I know. There's like uh, there's an actor on the show named Alex Skarsgård. And oh, yes, one of, of course. One of the fans has his whole face <laughs> tattooed on her arm. It's me. <laughs> oh, that's you. Let's see it. No, no. I have some tattoos, though. Do you have any tattoos? I don't have any tattoos. You're... I almost got a tattoo, and I'm so glad that I didn't. Why? I was in Tennessee. Oh, that always happens to me in Tennessee. Uh, <laughs> 
and I was with an ex ex boyfriend, like way back college boyfriend. I was in the chair, and I was gonna get one of those tramp step. I did, yes, ding ding. That's what. It, yeah, and I didn't go on the nose. Bing. Let's do it again. Okay. Boom boom. Yeah. Yes. Um, so I'm so glad that I didn't end up doing. Why? Because it's a permanent reminder of a temporary feeling. That's what my dad always says. Oh, that's a good idea. And if you really love what you get, then it makes sense. But in a, in a drunken moment in, in Johnson City, Tennessee, I don't know if that's Man. something I want to remember for the no, rest of the No, I don't know. I've had a couple of drunken nights in Tennessee <laughs> I want to remember forever. Really? Yeah. Well, actually, I wasn't drunk. I just like Tennessee. Right? Is this your first talk show? This is my first. All right. My well. First. <laughs> so, can you tell? It's great. Yeah. You do that. You mustn't be nervous. First of all, the thing to remember about talk shows is they are not important. They are not important at all okay. for anything. Okay, okay. It's just a way of kind of, you know, like if you're not going to go to your own show's party, then you should go on a talk show or something <laughs> like that. I'm making up for it. Yeah. What's your favorite part about being uh, a talk show host, though? <laughs> Do you have one? <laughs> I like the horse and the skeleton. I like uh, hey, There's Jeff. I like really like Jeff. I think he's awesome. He is. He's a lovely man. Really, really he really is. Say, Thank say hi. You. Thank You're you. welcome. Nice to see they you. They call and me the gateway to Iceland. Yeah. <laughs> At least somebody is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, Secretariat. It's, uh, nice to see you, Secretariat. Yeah. When yeah. any races? He's bowing. Look, he's bowing. Oh, how lovely. Yeah. It's like I'm the royal he's baby. He's bowing. Or, or. <laughs> I didn't know you were the royal baby. <laughs> Royal baby. The royal baby right there. I didn't know you were the royal baby. No, can you imagine being the royal baby? Yeah, it'd be awesome. Yeah, it'd be the best. Yeah, you I just think. like lie around and poo yourself. All the time. Yeah, and people like applaud and they're yeah, like, yeah. hey, you poo. Although, to be honest, I think that's what babies do anyway. They just lie around pooing themselves. But the yes. royal baby poos gold. That's what I hear. I wonder what his poo smells like. <laughs> or do I? <laughs> Probably something British. Probably. Yeah, like tweed or something like That'd that. That'd be nice, like yeah, a yeah. wool tweed. I'm afraid the little one's dropped another tweed surprise, everyone. <laughs> nice. Sorry. No, no. Well, oh, you started I talking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, um, right. <laughs> you want to throw at the commercial break? Hey, yes, we're going to. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's my first time. Yeah, yeah, but it's not entertainment tonight. Slow down. Okay. Keep the sense of awkward and amateur here. Yes, sir. <laughs> Which camera do I say it to? Ah, your guess is as good as mine. This one? Try that one. Okay, we'll be right back after this commercial break. Yeah!